Well friends, this is late night editing Miz. I'm editing this video that you are now watching and I freaking accidentally deleted footage from the beginning of me waking up. So to kick this video off, I'm just gonna do a reenactment, shall we? Oh man, so tired. <sighs> uh, good morning, friends. It's Monday, August 31st, the last day of this month and uh, first day of the rest of my med school life. Today, I'm gonna catch up. I'm gonna be disciplined and um, your girl's got a lot of lectures to do and not a lot of time to do them. Rise and grind. All right, so it's like six o'clock, 6.04. Like I mentioned in bed, I am literally going to get in my zone today and do work, which is part of the reason why I'm vlogging because I feel like if I vlog, I'll also be more motivated. So thank you for being here. I appreciate you. I'm gonna quickly make coffee and then I will get started. And I'm basically gonna do everything I said I was gonna do this weekend today, or I'm gonna try. Just wasn't our time, our time You can say, you can say who you want But I know you heard at night But I tried and I tried and I tried to hold you tight So I'm here tonight Hello, hi I'm about to do a 25 minute Pomodoro 25 minutes on, 5 minutes off Until I finish my Aki cards for the day And then I'll decide what I'll do next after that that's the plan. And I'm tired of this loneliness. Let me prove it because I swear I a.m. I stayed super focused and got through all of my Anki cards before 8, which I am super happy with. I mean, I don't have that many cards compared to people who have been using Anki for a long time, but I just started and I did get behind the past two days. So I'm about six or seven lectures behind, which is... <sighs> I'm gonna make oatmeal, then I'm gonna do lectures, and then we'll see how I'm feeling. Ow! <clears throat> Ew. My voice. Basically, when I'm not actually sitting down to study, I take these like five minute Pomodoro breaks. And during those breaks, I've been trying to get stuff done around the house. So already this morning, during one of my breaks, I put away my laundry. During another one of my breaks, I made breakfast. So I have that here. I also took out the trash. So I feel like I'm just on a little baby roll. The biggest thing for me is that I just have to stay off of my phone. If you find yourself really far behind and you're just like, I need to do something, I would highly recommend doing Doing your very very best to just stay off your phone. I'm losing my mind, my mind. No saying sorry it might not be enough. Once I spend a few hours off of my phone, I find that it's a little bit easier to continue working. But if I keep letting in or keep giving in to the temptation of using my phone, that's when I get in a lot of trouble. Now I'm pulling up some of my lectures. I actually have eight lectures that I need to watch from last week, which is just like so devastating. So the goal is to have them done by five o'clock, like the end of the work day, but we'll see. I'm gonna start these two lectures on on strep and sepsis, which we did, yikes, Wednesday of last week, and um, I haven't watched my lectures from Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. So don't be like Mez. Mez was not on it. Yeah, I'm being very ambitious. To get completely caught up on a day where we also have new lectures is a little bit ambitious, but if I can do it, you can do it. Okay, I'm gonna start this. Prayers up. So streptococcus pneumoniae is the classic organ organism uh, uh, that's recognized as a cause of uh, pneumonia. I can do anything. And I feel the same way about you guys. My lunch is ready, BRB. I made myself a little vegan chicken sandwich thing for lunch. It's gonna be fire. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna need it. a napkin, I'll be back. So what were they saying? I can't even remember. Oh, mm. So I've had a super productive morning. I think vlogging has definitely helped me be productive because I'm like, I must have something to show at the end of this vlog. I wanted to give you guys a couple pieces of it, couple pieces of advice for when you feel like you can't get into a study routine. Honestly, just set a timer, 25 minutes. Sometimes if I'm really struggling, it'll be 15 minutes. I set a timer and I tell myself, okay, I'm not gonna touch my phone. I put my phone in a drawer or in a different room and I just focus on studying slash schoolwork. If I have an urge to, oh, I need to check my status on this order. Or, oh, I wanna order groceries. I literally just write it down on a sticky note that's on my desk instead of getting just Distracted, and then after completing the 15 to 25 minutes, I'll go ahead and spend five minutes addressing whatever task came up Task came up that I wanted to complete to distract myself. So that's what I did this morning It's also how I tackle my Anki and that's the only way that I can get myself to focus Otherwise, I'm just sitting at my desk and I'll sit there for three hours because it's not a really focused three hours anyway I digress. Sometimes it just takes a couple of those 25 minute cycles for me to get into, into a routine and then I don't need to keep setting the timer. But sometimes I'm literally doing those 25 minute cycles all day long, studying, watching lectures because I can't get myself to focus. So it really just depends on the day. I use the Be Focused timer or app and I know some people have asked me about it. It's free. I think you download it in the app store. I'll put the little logo here. I'm pretty sure you download it in the app store. It's called Be Focused and it's been a game changer for me because it keeps track of your work cycles as well as your breaks and you can also customize the amount of time that you want each period to be. I love that it's free and so I would highly recommend you give that a shot if you are struggling to focus. Am I the only person who's not into sparkling water? Like, I just don't like it. All I drink really is water, coffee, and whatever milk I put in my coffee. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna spice things up. I'm gonna try a little juice situation. Oh, these are on sale. I'll get those. We love a sale. I'm not super into it. Do you guys drink these? Maybe I need to try a different flavor. This one is raspberry lime and it's, it's not doing it for me. And like, what's pureed about this? It says there's raspberry puree, but there, there ain't no puree in here. I'm gonna get back to work. I'll check in with you guys later. Time steady, time steady, time steady, time steady. Uh, 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 uh. I just feel so much more productive in the morning, in the morning. some lectures. You want to say hi to the vlog? Uh, That's all you're going to say? Say something cute. I am too. No. Say you love me a lot or something. Are you going to put this in there? Are you telling me to say No, it? I'm not going to put it in. I'm going to crop it out. Hey friends, we are grinding, 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 grinding. Ugh, my room's a mess. I'm just gonna close this door so you don't see it. Hmm. All right, you can see me there. I have my little blue light glasses on because I get sick of looking at a screen all day. You know the deal, you know the vibes. I have three lectures left to get through. I just took a quick study break and a kind of study break. I made some coffee and then I actually drafted up a post for an Instagram account that I helped manage for our local CSA. Check it out. How cute. Oh, so that's what I did during my downtime because I just wanted to make sure I got up a post on that CSA account today. I hope this isn't super boring to you. I've tried to give you little tidbits Little tidbits of how I stay productive on days like this. For me at least, there's always this point where I get so far behind that I can no longer do anything about it. 
and while I was quite a few lectures behind, I felt like, you know, if I hit it hard today, then I can get through a lot of the lectures. And so really it's all about mindset. That's huge. So another tip for being productive and just grinding, it's mindset. And when you find that energy, just going with it. And that's really important. If you're in a zone, you really have to respect the zone and don't expect to come across that wind all the time. But when it comes, I have to respect it and run with it because Lord knows that there are days where you don't feel like studying at all. And those are the days you take it a little bit easier and then there are days where you can study if you like get over that initial hump and that was me today so I'm gonna get back to the grind because I just want to get these three <sighs> Jesus that looks so bad um, just used both hands melody you're such a just what the heck um, I'm gonna get through these three lectures because I told myself I would get through eight hours of lectures today which was really ambitious but I'm really about to do this and there's nothing better than actually doing the things that you wrote down on your to-do list okay and that never happens to me so I really just want to do this so prayers up please I can do this you can do this if there's something that you need to be going to do do it after you finish this video really tired from all the studying you're doing, you accidentally cut your finger with a knife. Well, maybe you don't clean it so good, you get a bad infection, next thing you know. I have one more lecture to watch from last week. Oh my god, I'm so close, I'm so close. I don't know if you guys do this, but you know how, do you guys ever feel like the closer you get to your goal, the less focus you have? My focus is dwindling. Gotta go. Wednesday's lectures last week, Thursday's lectures last week, Friday's lectures last week. Don't be like me. But I just did it and I'm so happy because it took me eight hours today. So I really freaking did that. Oh, when you actually follow through, it feels so good. Take this as a little form of encouragement. If there's something that you really, really, really been meaning to do, just put your phone away, turn off YouTube, turn off Instagram. Literally just like cut out all distractions and tell yourself that you're gonna get this done because like one of my friends said, your future self well, thank you. Do it for your future self. Make your future life easier. I'm so hyped. I'm about to go run and hopefully run fast, but we'll probably just run at a nice little pace. Oh, just want to make sure nothing crazy happens, okay? I showered and I put on some skincare, which is why I might look like a little grease ball potato skin. And instead of buying dinner, which I was mad tempted to do, but then I reminded myself that I'm broke. I toasted a bagel and scrambled some eggs and spinach. And let me tell you, it's so far. I don't want to brag, but today was a good day. I haven't had a day as good as today in probably a year. I don't think I had a day like this last year. Because to be honest, I really struggled to find that inner motivation, but not even motivation, because motivation is like an overused word. That inner discipline to just like get up and do things. And I feel like today I really implemented a few things that helped me overcome distractions while still doing things outside of just med school stuff. So I also want to say that I don't think it's super sustainable to, I guess, force yourself to make use of every minute like I did today. Like I think I really went hard today. I don't think that's necessarily sustainable, but I do think it was really helpful to me for a couple of reasons. One, I just needed to catch up. So it was just one day and I knew my future self would thank me for it. Two, it allowed me to like overcome whatever might come later. If <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, I can't think, it's time for bed. It was just what I needed. And I'm not saying that I spend every day studying that much. I definitely, <laughs> I definitely don't. I'm really just rambling. I feel like I should go. My brain is tired. I'm gonna eat my dinner and then I'm gonna take my butt to bed. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you end up using the Be Focused app that I told you guys about or the Pomodoro method that I mentioned, let me know because I would love to hear from you guys. It's always super nice when you let me know that like, hey, something you said was super helpful. Ah! That always makes me feel really, really good. And I appreciate you guys so much, so, 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 so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, join our little On The Move fam. It is growing. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And I'm going to go to sleep because my brain is literally turning off. Like my eyes are heavy. My brain is turning off and it is time for bed. Talk to you guys soon.